Hey guys, my name is Joe Seuss, and they give me my desk tour. This is where I spend maybe 10 hours a day, you know, working on my business, working for my job. Um, so, here, so come on over. First, I think we should talk about the monitor. So we have this monitor, I don't know what the name of it, but it's a 32 inch monitor. For people that want to save money, buy things used on eBay, and you'll save 50 to 100 bucks. You know, the moment someone touches it, it becomes you, so just word of advice is to look at their ratings and their good ratings and why not? I bought this monitor used 32 inches and it works out really great. I have a rare disease called FOP where my muscle turn into bone and what happened with my body is that my neck is actually fused so it's always up. Right now it looks okay but I'm kind of actually leaning down a little bit but if I were to sit up you know I can't put my head down like a normal person to look at a monitor so what happens is I actually read my monitor up really high so if you go to the back of the monitor, it called a vase amount, and what actually happened, I actually have it attached to a shelf, and I'm raising the monitor up high. I don't know how many inches it is, it is, but it's a good height for me, so my neck is comfortable, and I can work on it with no problems. I have all the links up, everything I bought in the description below. I have a rare disease, and I talk about my neck being fused up, but my arm here is also fused this way, so I can only do this basically. So if you look here, there's a keyboard here. Um, so we got the Logitech MX Key Mini. Um, I like the keyboard a lot, nice and quiet. The only thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't say illuminated. I contacted them many times and I looked up on forums and stuff and they say that it's not really possible, which I think is a bunch of bullshit, but otherwise it's a great, it's a great keyboard. I believe this is the Elgato mic stand thing and what I actually did is just attach it to I actually glued the keyboard to a part that attaches to how you attach a microphone to it so I have this and it makes it nice and easy to move it up and down for me you know you know throughout the day I kind of like start leaning over or maybe I'm sitting up more I'm sitting less or I just want to put it away and watch something that's really nice so back to my disability again I have my right hand that I use to the keyboard. So if you go to my left hand, I actually have this mouse here that I use that's nice to be one-handed. The link would be in the description and allows me to do everything I want on my mouse. Um, what's really nice is I had a lot of buttons. So if you look here, there's the left click, there's the right click. Um, so we, I made the button differently. So if you press the middle one, they have a default that you can press play and pause, play music and stuff. So I actually have it to, that's a space bar. Going up is um, to go up on the, the arrow pad once you go down. Um, and then left and right, I don't have it for anything. And if you click center here, it actually deletes stuff. So I can do so much with my keyboard, that's really nice. I mean, that's, I can do so much with my one hand, that's really nice. If I'm being really lazy, I just won't even use my keyboard, I'll just use the on-screen keyboard. I just, have to some, I just have to type something in, so. For a for accessibility, to create lazy people like me. To add to that, that's a that disability and I can't put my arm down. So, my dad actually built his wood structure thing here. Um, so it's really cool. Uh, I can kind of reach below here, so I have my batteries here. I have my wallet here with... With $2, you know, I'm broke right now. Like I put all my money into the business, so please buy my product so I can start buying more stuff. So I guess we'll just start from the left to the right. Of course, you always gotta have your Vaseline. That's super important. Oh, you forget to put it on before my video, and then when I watch my video, I realize that I should have put some on, but I remember this time. Um, I have a ring here for if I want to propose to someone immediately, I have one available here. Um, so I have a cup here full of, you know, pens and markers and scissors. I have two scissors because one is for like paper and stuff. And one is for um, cutting like cloth and stuff for the business. Really cool. Um, something that I kind of did, so I actually can't reach all the way forward. So I created a scene that this is actually this wallpaper here. And what's cool, I made it so that I can pull it and be able to reach it and then just push it back when I'm done with it. So I have like the space of this, but I can still access the cup here. I have a, um, glasses, 
cleaner here that's useful. I have this here, three mil, and it allows me to move my series up and down. So when it's time to be to go into sexy mode, I can put it down, but I'm also sexy that I keep the doors open all the time because for one, I live in a high rise so no one can see in and I kind of want everyone to see in, you know? That's just me. But not everyone is as confident as I am, but also never really close it because I love waking up to the sunlight coming in and, you know, sunlight is really important to me. Um, so next we got clones here. Actually, these are samples that I like to use everything I have. So spray myself with cologne every day because even if I'm not going to see anyone, it's always good to be in the mindset that maybe you have to meet the love of your life anytime even though you're stuck in your room all the time. Um, you just never know, they might just ring the bell and just go like, hey, and then you're just ready. But I think it's good for psychology just to be always ready to go, dress well, dress in nice clothes. I mean, the only person that really matters is you, so here you go. Um, so this is a cup here. People might think they're copying it, or even alcohol. I mean, I wish it was, but I lost the ability to just follow, so actually, this is my spit cup. So I have to spit into it. I'm a cage link, so this is my microphone thing. This is the microphone I'm using right now, so it just charges it. Part of my business is I have glue, so the glue is on the left, and then on the right is a large bottle, and have it for, um, makes the glue dry up really fast, so I don't have to wait for it to dry. Got a flashlight here, you never know when you need it. Super useful. Um, link in the description, this is really cool. Go, has all these modes I'll never use, but What's cool about that is recharged by USB-C. So that's really cool to do. We go back to the keyboard, there's a wire on top, and that's a USB-C. So it makes that a double um, win for me because it keeps the keyboard um, charging, but it also charges, you know, my phone. So I have an Xbox One controller here. I have, to, I have an Xbox One connected to my room, but it's on the other side of the room. I have a complicated setup, but it also charges by USB-C, which is really useful. Fun fact, I played one-handed. Would that be for another video? I um, have my phone here for the people that never text me. The only people that text me are my cell phone company and credit card company that they want my money. This is a this is um, an Oticon. I'm not sure the name of it. I'll put it on the screen for you. So I don't know if you know this, but I have hearing aids that wear hearing aids. And so I like video edit a lot and you know, I don't want everyone to hear what I'm editing and But I also don't want to wear headphones because hearing aids are kind of the most comfortable um, Headphones you can wear because you know, you get molds done and it perfectly fits your ear So what this does is actually an intermediary device that connects my computer to my hearing aid Unfortunately, I can't connect my hearing aid to my computer directly to have to have this intermediary, the middleman of it. So that's cool, I always have it plugged in because I just use it all the time. And then my glasses here and I need it because I can't see my screen at all. I um, just have it all because it looks better without it. And you know, don't want people to make fun of me for being blind, but yep, I have that. Look behind here, I have my basket here. Um, they were all the, when people buy from my business, I have 3D prints, I had to put all the stuff that I have to send out in this box and then, you know, maybe like once a week I'll just wrap them up and send it out. So right now I have a lot of stuff here and I have to send out. We got a, a guard here. I know it looks kind of sloppy right now, but my cat likes to jump here. And that's the guard here, so he sees it and it doesn't jump. And then I have my label printer there. Really great label printer. Um, um, so we actually, so we see the green thing is actually, um, it's actually a footstool and it turned out to be the perfect height for me. Here's another blue cup and it's actually a cup for my trash for my 3D print. Uh, I have pliers here that I use for my 3D print. So if you look behind me, so I have, I actually have two 3D printers ready for the business in case one breaks, I have a backup and sometimes I get busy printing that I need to print multiple. So on the left one, I'm actually printing a, a plant plate I think that's what they call it. Um, I have to change the filament to do different colors. 
So if you go look up, you know, that's all the colors I sell. So what happened is that for me, here, so, so we're going back to my disability again and um, I can't reach up. So what I did, I actually created a system. So I had cell one and cell this thing here. So I had all the filaments here. So with the pliers here, you can buy, I believe these are called German pliers. I don't know why anyone would ever buy these on their own, but I found on Amazon. I was like, hey, this could be perfect for me. So this allows me to just switch the filaments around. My client wants a two color for this. So I'm gonna just change the filament now. So now, change the filament, and then we go to the blue cup to my trash, and, whoops. Okay, so now that going, and now that I printed it going, but I think that's really it. Um, we covered a lot, and this is what I do the rest of my day. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or anything you want me to explain more, please let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.